What is up YouTube and welcome to this double topic video of just who Grand Admiral Thorne is and his henchperson Morgan Elspeth. So the last episode of The Mandalorian was probably the biggest episode to date in my opinion where we learned all about Baby Yoda aka the child's real name which is Grogu. I will be doing a full video on that one tomorrow perhaps but we also learned that Ahsoka is still searching for Grand Admiral Thorne as he is with Ezra Bridger, who she promised to help find at the end of A Rebels in a post credit scene that jumped just after the fall of the Empire. However, this Mandalorian episode is, of course, taking place post Battle of Endor, so it has been many years since Ezra and Thrawn went missing on that ship. Ahsoka is hunting down people close to Admiral Thorne to find out where Ezra is and really where Thrawn is. And Morgan is one of these probably many victims that is being hunted. But just who is this cruel and evil magistrate? Now during the episode she was the magistrate of Caladan on the planet Corvus but she has an interesting history before this. It has been revealed by a hair and makeup artist that she was one of the last remaining survivors of a planet called Dathomir. Yes, that Dathomir, the birthplace of Darth Maul and home to the Rancars, the Night Sisters, and the Zabrax. And well, the Rancors, of course, you may remember as the scary creatures from Return of the Jedi. Now, while there were Night Sisters, witches who had immense magical powers and the people who were able to manipulate the Zabrak Savage Oppress to go on and be a powerful Sith fighter, well, one of the last Night Sisters were actually featured in Jedi Fallen Order when the Jedi and main character Cal Kestis, the Jedi Padawan, heads there. He could even be the Jedi hinted at who will train Grogu, which I would love. And if you haven't played Jedi Fallen Order, it is one of the best Star Wars games I have ever played. Now, the planet of Dathomir featured heavily in the Clone Wars and Rebels and was even attacked and massacred by General Grievous. Now, while looking human, she does look similar to the Night Sister Merin that I mentioned was featured in Star Wars The Fallen Order, who I really wanted to have a relationship with Cal. I ship that forever. It's explained that her people were massacred in the past, leading her to support the Empire. So if Grievous did in fact kill her family and she was a result of this attack, she would have no doubt hated anyone who stood on his side and wanted to join the Galactic Republic and the later Galactic Empire. This would have led her to help fund the Imperial Navy, as Ahsoka explains in the episode. Presumably she did this through illicit and brutal activities, which explains her behaviour and temperament in The Mandalorian Chapter 13. I mean, no one who isn't brutal and uh, very horrible keeps people in those weird electric torture devices. At some point after the Battle of Dathomir, 20 years before the Battle of Yavin, which explains the age of Morgan, she would have met Grand Admiral Thorne. One thing I found odd is how she had the same cloak clip as Dooku. Now, there is a theory that she is part of the Ming Po people who were, or at least came into contact with Bo Katan, with the Death Watch, and how they kept them prisoner and oppressed them as they took over their planet. I like that theory, and I might present that in another video. But who is Thrawn? Well, he was introduced into Star Wars lore in 1991 in the Heir to the Empire novel. These took place after the fall of the Empire and Return of the Jedi and explained what happened after the Empire. Something that Disney trilogy should have been about in my opinion and it is all about him fighting against Luke and well he was off in the unknown regions during the original trilogy explaining why he wasn't involved. However, much of this was taken out of canon and added to the Legends series. However, he was brought back into canon in Star Wars Rebels, and Timothy Zahn also wrote a, another 
actual law canon version of him in the Disney saga. So it's interesting that the original creator was allowed to bring his new canon version into the Disney lore. Now, Thrawn is a Chiss of the Chiss Ascendancy, which is a region of space controlled by his race, and an immensely powerful navy was in their possession, which Thrawn was involved with, and they had major threats from the unknown regions. In the new true canon, he was sent to explore the Outer Rim instead of the unknown regions, and find the Republic to ally with and fight the threats from the unknown regions. He fought alongside Anakin Skywalker, until he later came across a race who warned that the new empire were terrible and oppressive. So he went back home and he was sent to infiltrate the empire to see if the empire would be a suitable ally to fight against threats from the unknown regions as the Chiss Ascendancy, aka Chiss Space, still wanted someone to fight, and the Chiss Ascendancy were powerful. He faked his exile and made contact with the Empire. This is similar to his original kind of legend story where he was exiled for being an absolute D-bag. But he spoke with the Empire and the Emperor himself and talked about the threats in the unknown regions. Let's not forget that Exegol, where Sidious was reborn and Snoke was made, was actually in the unknown regions. And that's an interesting one there moving forward, considering that clones are being made. Well, that is huge. So that's a, another video for another time. So Thrawn was sent to the Imperial Academy. He rose highly through the ranks of the Imperial Academy and the Navy itself and rose to the role of Grand Admiral, but was concerned at the use of the Death Star and the resources used and was assured it would not be used on his home planet as he left these planets off the maps that he was sent to make of the Unknown Region. After this, he went on to fight the rebels of Phoenix Squadron, including Syndulla and Ezra, and the rest of the cast of Star Wars Rebels. This was a fantastic series, and I highly suggest watching it, and where well, there will be spoilers coming up. Thrall took on battles against Phoenix Squadron, and even tried to kidnap Mon Mothma after she resigned from the Senate, and worked on creating a formidable TIE Defender. He occupied the planet Lothal, the home planet of Ezra Bridger, and Ezra and the rebels managed to liberate the planet. However, Thrawn and Ezra went head to head and Ezra used the force and a flock of Pergrils, the space whales who can travel in hyperspace, to get them to transport him and Thrawn far away from the action, explaining why they would still be alive after the Empire fell. So where are we now? Well, after Rebels and the final end of battle, Ahsoka and Sabine Wren teamed up to find Ezra, and no doubt Thrawn is key to this. Now, I'm very excited to see where this goes, and this was just a tiny part of Thrawn's life, so it was a greatest hit, so to speak, and there's much more out there. But that is it for this video. Please drop a like down below. Please do subscribe with notifications on, and I will see you soon, and goodbye.